hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are gonna talk about loops basically we're gonna talk about the for loop and the while loop so if you don't know what i'm talking about don't worry we are going to cover that in this video so let's get started so first let's talk about the for loop Basically, we use for loops to repeat a piece of code a known number of times. For example, if we want to write hello Arduino five times or 20 times, we can use the for loop to make the programming easier. So let's open up the sketch and we are going to use the serial monitor to understand this kind of loop. So under the setup function, we want to write hello Arduino 20 times or 10 times. And to do that, we need to begin the serial monitor using serial.begin and let's pass in the baud rate which is 9600. Then we can print a message using print and we have print LN to print the text and go to the next line and let's write hello Arduino. So if you want to write this text 10 times, you could copy it using ctrl c then ctrl v 10 times but that's annoying and it's not practical and to solve that we use the for loop to repeat this piece of code 10 times or 20 times and to do that we write for then we open and close these parentheses and in here we are going to create a counter to go from 0 to 9 which means 10 times using int and let's call it counter First, we give it the initial value, which is 0. And after the semicolon, we write a condition. When the counter is less or equal to 9, then we need to increment this variable. So we want to go from 0, 1, 2. And when the condition is true, we are going to call this line of code. And here we use the incrementation. So let's increment the counter by 1. You could use counter equals the previous value plus 1 or we could use plus plus so this is going to add 1 to the counter variable then we need to open and close these curly braces and here we write the line of code that we want to repeat which is printing the text hello arduino so what this piece of code is going to do it's going to create this counter variable then it's going to check if it's less or equal to 9 then it's going to call this line of code after that it's going to increment the counter variable by 1 and check if it's still less or equal to 9 then it's gonna call this line of code again until we reach the value 10 it's gonna check if 10 is less or equal than 9 of course it's false it's going to exit out of the loop so let's test this I'm gonna save and let's upload it actually I've made a mistake so I forgot to add the serial.println so make sure to verify your code using this button then let's upload it and if we open up the serial monitor using tools then serial monitor you see that we have the text hello arduino 10 times and that's how we use the for loops so it's very interesting to know about it we are going to use it later on in so many projects for example we can use this kind of loop for a counter project so if we want to write the value 0 1 until 10 we could use it so here we can use this counter variable and let's print it using serial.println and let's print the value of the counter then let's make a little bit of delay using the delay function and let's wait for a second then let's upload the code again and let's open up the serial monitor And now you see here we have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. For example, we can use it to create a clock that displays the time using this kind of loop. So let's move on to the next one, which is the while loop. Basically, we use the while loop to repeat a piece of code an unknown number of times. For example, we can wait until the user click on a push button. So let's use this kind of loop. And the syntax is a little bit different. We write while, then we add the condition, and we open and close these curly braces. So while the condition is true, 
it's going to run these lines of code and let's take a practical example so for example let's declare an int and let's call it i equals 10 for example while the i variable is greater than 0 which is the case now so the i is 10 it's greater than 0 it's going to run this piece of code for example let's write the i variable using serial dot print ln and let's pass in the i variable but we have a little problem so this is an infinite loop it's gonna print the i variable over and over again because the i variable is always greater than zero so we need to decrement it somewhere in our code under the while function so each time we are going to print the i variable then we are going to decrement it so first it's going to write 10 then 9 8 until 1 so when the i variable is 1 it's gonna be 0 under here and it's going to check if the i is greater than 0 which is false i equals 0 in that case it's going to exit out of the loop so let's print here serial dot print ln and let's write end also let's add some kind of delay so that we can see the counter variable using delay and let's wait for a second but I have made a mistake make sure to spell it right and let's upload the code and you see here we have this kind of counter 10, 9 but when the i variable is 1 it's gonna stop and we have this end message so that's how we use the for and the while loops it's very interesting to know about these kind of structures we're going to use it a lot in so many projects later on so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one